So, so there's kind of two phases. One of them is getting from C60 to ESS60, and that's really about removing the solvents because solvents are necessary uh, in the production of, of a high quality C60. Not unlike when you talk about plant extracts, a lot of people are familiar and take plant extracts. Those usually have solvents involved to get those extracts extracted from the plants. Uh, so it's a, in our industry, uh, it's very common to use solvents and very common to get rid of them. So you got to do it, do it properly. The next step is taking that ESS60 and actually mixing it in the oil. So a lot of people are looking at the original study. You take ESS60, you stick it in oil, you mix it for two weeks, and voila, those original researchers did had the actual equipment to confirm that the concentration of ESS60 in that olive oil was about 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. Um, and so now people are just on the market who don't have the equipment, who don't know exactly what they're doing, and are mixing it for two weeks and assuming that it has 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. And I say assuming because we've actually done a canvas of the industry and pulled in a lot of the major manufacturers. And I can tell you it's not 0.8 milligrams per milliliter uh, in many of these products. Um, there are even companies claiming more. There are some companies claiming a lot more. And when we look at those oils, they don't have more. They don't even have the 0.8 that uh, a, a, an honest, legitimate company would, uh, would put on their labeling. Not only that, there's, there's a lot of tablets and capsules that are out there. We went ahead and purchased these tablets. We actually considered doing tablets and capsules. Uh, and the reason we backed off is because a typical uh, serving size is at about five mils or one teaspoon. To get, think about getting one full teaspoon kind of condensed into a pill, it's a really big, you know, the phrase horse pill actually applies. It's a big pill. And even if you kind of reduce that pill to a reasonable size, now we're talking about uh, having to take a lot of pills to get the proper serving size of your C60 Evo. And so we have kind of backed off of that. We may come back to it. We have some customers asking for it and we tend to kind of do what our customers say as long as it makes sense. Um, but I tested all the capsules that were out on the market and one of them actually came in instead of having 0.8, which is what you'd like and which is on the labeling, actually had 0.05 right? So it's almost none. And we did a quick calculation. You'd have to take 200 of these capsules to get the right serving size. We actually retested their material. It got better. It's, it's around, I don't remember the number exactly, but it's about 10 times better than their 0.05. So somewhere around 0.4, 0.5, still not 0.8. Um, and still you got to take more tablets than they're recommending. I, even on Amazon, uh, there's a tablet. I did a quick calculation based on what they say their concentration is. Their recommended serving size is two pills. Uh, it actually would take more like 20 based on what they're mm -hmm. saying is in their product and what volume is in each capsule. Uh, and so it's a very kind of, I'm very, it's unsettling for me because uh, at first I, I didn't know whether to believe this product was going to work or not. I didn't like, we didn't make this product and come onto the market and say, Hey, we designed this specifically to do specific things. I'm not the guy who pursued supplements as a way to get rich. I am the guy who was pro providing the raw material that original C60 now ESS 60 uh, to most of the market around the world. Uh, and when they did this original study where they used our C60 and they mentioned us in that peer reviewed published research and those rats live twice as long. Now I'm in a situation where I've got this product. We started selling it for research purposes and people who were doing research on themselves uh, were actually coming back and giving us amazing testimonials. I spent I spent the first nine months of 2018 going, okay, I believe you because you're actually telling me what your experience is, my pro what I don't know what to do with it. I don't, the, like, I, I want to have the reasons behind it, what's, what's going on. So, so now we're in a situation where people are giving these great testimonials. I feel like it's kind of my job uh, to get this into as many hands as possible. And my fear is, is that somebody hears, you know, listens to, to this show and they hear and they t their only takeaway is C60 instead of ESS60. And then they go and Google C60 and they find these capsules on Amazon and they take two tablets a day and they're getting one tenth of a recommended serving size and they get no experience. And so now they're spreading the message. Oh, I tried that C60 stuff. It didn't work. Well, that's what I'm worried about. So 
Um, that I don't know. I kind of got on a little rant there. Uh, the, the, the long and short is ESS 60 safer, safer for human consumption. Uh, C60 literally peer reviewed published research that says it can be harmful. So how much C60 is the recommended uh, in your bottle? You said 0.8 or what do you have in your C60? So the C60 concentration, either? and remember this is a variable because we're dealing with uh, an organic and natural product. So mm -hmm. the things that are interacting with the olive oil, let's talk about olive oil first, um, vary, right? So from crop mm -hmm. to crop of olives, you're going to have different levels of polyphenols throughout this and different uh, saturations point. So we're always monitoring the oils as they come in to understand what's the actual saturation point. Typical saturation for an olive oil is about 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. And then if you kind of go down the concentration trail, next is avocado where you can get about 0.65 milligrams per milliliter. And then the lowest and kind of the, the le lesser product is the MCT oil where you can get about 0.35 milligrams per milliliter. And all of this is like really important to understand. There are companies who've kind of made their living on this uh, purple MCT oil and not really shared with their, with their consumers that what they're selling to them is 50% of the value of ESS-60 uh, compared to the olive oil. Mm -hmm.